Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to export your video in DaVinci Resolve. Let's check it out. Alright, so we are on the edit page right now. I'm going to show you two ways to export your video. You can do it from the edit page right here and you can do it from the render page. So from the edit page, you can just go over to file and here you're going to look for quick export. Not export, not export project because those basically export a project file, a working file of uh, the project or the timeline. Uh, here you're going to search for quick export and you're going to click on it. You have basically a bunch of presets that you can choose from H.264, H.265, ProRes, YouTube, Vimeo and Twitter. You can just pick whatever you want. If you want to choose the highest quality, just choose H.265 or ProRes and then you can just simply hit export and you uh, choose the location, the name of your file. So here video two, you can save and then the export is starting. Perfect. Now the video has been exported. Uh, it's confirmed by rendering completed. So here you can just close that and now you have your video exported. That's one way to go about it. If you want to have more control over your export, you can go to the rendering page. And here you have again a bunch of presets that you can choose from like YouTube, Vimeo and so on. Uh, and you can also choose here a bunch of uh, project export to come and work uh, for example in Premiere. But for the time being we're gonna focus on custom because that's here that you're gonna encounter most of the parameters that you will change. So basically here you can change the name of your file. So we're gonna call it video2 you can then choose the location if you want it uh, right now we're gonna do it for example on my desktop you have the name of the file and here export it to desktop you save uh, there is already one exported that we made earlier i'm just gonna hit replace uh, to change that and here you have a first very interesting functionality is that you can export uh, a single clip which is basically the entirety of your timeline the entire video or you can choose to export individual clips which basically means that you're gonna export uh, each clip one by one it can be very nice if you decided to do your color grading in uh, DaVinci and then you just want to export for example stock footage clip uh, you can export like each clip one by one which can be uh, very very handy but for the time being we're gonna select a single clip which is basically again then Entire timeline. Uh, if you wish here to uh, do the entire timeline, you have the possibility to do that right here or in and out range, which basically here you can select the range uh, that you want to export. So here, the beginning of this clip, not going to be exported, it's going to export from there at uh, one second until here for a second. So you have the possibility to do that also to select a specific range in your video. For the time being, we're just gonna do entire timeline. Here you have three toggle button that you can choose from that gonna show you uh, different settings that you can change. So here the video settings that we're gonna go through uh, in a second. Here the audio settings and here the file settings that allow you to just uh, do a couple of things regarding the naming of the file that show you also the amount of space that you have available on uh, the place that you're exporting the video at and a bunch of other stuff. So for now, we're just gonna go back to video. Uh, here you can choose from uh, a bunch of different format. Most of the time I will go either with MP4 or QuickTime. For the time being, let's just do QuickTime. You can then choose your codec, it's a matter of preferences, but I will recommend uh, using either Apple ProRes if you're on Apple, DNxHR or H.264 or H.265. That's what you'll use most of the time. You might not have exactly the same parameter as I do, depending if you're on uh, Apple or Windows, or if you have the paid or the free version of DaVinci Resolve, uh, those may change a little bit. For this one, let's just do Apple ProRes, and here you can then select the type. So if you want something uh, with a lower quality, you can choose LT, or if you want to have highest quality, you can choose Apple ProRes 422 HQ. So I'm gonna select that for the time being. Then you can change your resolution. So usually, even if I work with something that is HD, I like to upscale it to 4K, Ultra HD right here. So I'm just gonna do that right now. I will not touch on advanced setting because it's very specific and usually it's used uh, to trouble shooting some error during the export at least that's how i see it and here subtitle setting is the subtitle that you can export so here you can just tick that box and export the subtitles that you've created if you've done so as separated file burned into the video or as embedded caption you can also choose the format of the export uh, either srt or any other format that you wish to choose but for now we're just gonna untoggle that because we don't need it at all 
And once we're happy with our setting, we can just add add to render queue. And here it just gives me a warning message because I'm basically upscaling from HD to Ultra HD, uh, but it's all right. So I'm just gonna say add anyway. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna uh, replace because I've already made an export of this video. And here in render queue, you can choose to export multiple video at once or uh, only one video at a time. This is very helpful because imagine you have a couple of different video that you've edited in one project. So here I have my video one. I can then choose uh, another video that I want to export. So here in another timeline, video two uh, that has similar export setting. I'm just gonna here just change the name to video one. And here I'm gonna hit add render queue. And I have two video in my render queue. And then you can just either select only one or you can select the two and you can then render all. That can be very, very nice and very convenient if uh, you want to batch export. Let's say you have a bunch of long projects that you want to export. Instead of doing the export during your working hour, you can just uh, batch uh, render and export at the end of your day and let the computer export during the night. So it doesn't affect the performance of your computer or doesn't block uh, your editing software uh, during the day when you want to edit. Now everything has been exported. Here you can see the directory where it has been exported. So here user j desktop and here the video is on my desktop. Same right there and you have obviously the name of your video. And now your video has been exported properly and you can move on to create a new one. One last functionality that I would like to share with you in the rendering page is here. Uh, in clip, you can just add a bunch of filter. It's very useful in individual clips, so not in single clip. If you move to individual clip and you want to export them one by one, you can choose filter to select basically the one that you want to export. So for example, here in clip, I can choose to export only the clip that has been graded. And basically it will export all the clips that have been graded and don't export the one that have been uh, not graded. You can do the same thing here with ungraded and it will do the opposite, basically exporting all the clips uh, that are not graded and here for example a clip that have been flagged or marked keyword and so on it's a very great way to select uh, some specific clip that you want to export uh, especially if you're doing uh, some stock footage and you're batching a bunch of different clips and it's just easy to know exactly what is graded what is ready for export and make sure that you're exporting only for example uh, graded footage and that's pretty much it i hope this video was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next one bye Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.